Hi, my name is Mary Jane from Beaverton U-Haul. If you're going to be towing a trailer with your Buick Verano, you're going to need some trailer wiring. Let's get started. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So our wiring connectors are located behind each tail light on the passenger and driver side. In order to get to those, you're going to have to take the flooring out and pull back these interior panels. So now that we got the flooring out, we're going to take this center panel out. To do that, there's two clips down here. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to pull those out. So now that you have those clips out, all you got to do is just pull straight up on it. So now that we got that out, we're going to move to the driver's side. We're going to take this first clip out here. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver just to pop that out. And then I'm going to use this star screwdriver to take this clip out here. So now that we have those clips removed, I'm going to pull the paneling away from the body here. And it looks like there is another clip. I'm going to take that out with my screwdriver. So now that we got that out, it should come back. So opening up that panel. All right, and now we're gonna move to the passenger side. So I got this panel opened up here. We're going to take our trailer wiring here and we're going to find the plug that it goes to. Looks like it's going to be this one. You're going to take that pin, push down and pull out. You're going to take this here, clip it in. Clips in just like that. Make sure that you use that brown and yellow wire for the driver's side. So now we're going to do the passenger side, which is the green and red wire. I'm just going to unplug that here. So our next step is going to be to ground out our wiring here. I'm going to mount it to this here. Um, you can see back here there's nothing that I'm going to hurt at all by drilling into this panel here. Let's do it. Alright, our next step is to power the unit here. To do that, we're going to take this wire here. Um, we're going to have to run a wire across to the passenger side. I'm going to do it to the passenger side because I don't want to hit that exhaust when I go through. Um, it'll go down and it'll go straight to the positive post on the battery. So to get our pa power wire to the outside, we're going to use this plug down here. So now I'm going to put a hole in the middle of this plug here. Power wire through that hole. Perfect. 
So now I'm gonna take this grommet here that I drilled the hole in. I'm gonna run the power wires through it. And put it in the hole. And you can see that I left enough so that I can reach over to my red wire. So I'm on the passenger side. I have my wires through my grommet. I'm just gonna run my wire through here so it doesn't get caught on anything. It's just a nice little cavity. So now that I got my wire uh, run through, I'm going to connect it to my power wire here. I'm going to use a butt connector doing that. So now that I got everything connected, I got my power wire, my ground, and my two plugs to my lights. I'm going to take the box and I'm going to mount it using double-sided tape that was provided in that wiring kit. Just mount it to the back side of that box, make sure it's nice and good on there. And I'm going to mount mine just below that tail light. So we're all done now in the trunk. I'm just gonna put everything back together here really quick. So a few things you're going to want to remember before you run this power wire under the car is you want to make sure it doesn't go near anything hot and nothing moving. So you're away from the exhaust now so you won't have to worry about that. You have to be careful of a few things up here and then just running it down. Also uh, you can never use too many zip ties. I personally use at least 10. So let's get started. So I got my wire to the base of my firewall. So now I'm gonna go up top and I'm gonna put, I run a fish wire down so I can get my fish wire up to the top up by the battery. 
So now I'm up in the engine compartment. I'm gonna run a stiff piece of wire down through to get to the bottom where that wire is. Now I'm gonna take the end of this wire that I fed through from the top and then take my power wire here. I'm gonna tape them together. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and I'll pull it through. Perfect. So now our wire is up here and our battery is over there so we need to route our wire up along the firewall to get it over there so that we can power it. So now I have my power wire where I want it to be. I'm going to take this fusible link that was provided. I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to put a ring terminal and a butt connector on the, each end. And I'm going to connect it from the power to the terminal. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket to loosen this here. I'm gonna put my 10 amp fuse up here. Close it up. And so that completes everything that we need to do in the engine compartment. Let's go to the trunk and I'm gonna show you some of the features in there. So your wiring is gonna be stowed under here in that spare tire compartment right here. It gives you about three feet so you can reach your trailer. Just lay it flat here. Close it. Be perfect. Here. And you can see that there was no damage done at all to that wiring there, so you're perfectly okay with closing it. And that concludes our video. Have a great day. To learn more about the products seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.